Thanks. Who's the one suing CDC to open the ports? I mean, we've been, I've been fighting for this for nine months. They're able to sail. No, they can do it under current Florida law. They are absolutely able to do it. They all have operations to be able to handle it. I can tell you, I've spoken with executives on almost all the major cruise lines. They're ready to go. The problem on this the whole time has been the CDC. They've mothballed this industry for over a year. And then you know, we were in mediation with them. They were very unreasonable about some of the things that they were asking about um, to, to insist upon. And so they can sail under in Florida. We want them to sail. I wanted them to sail nine months ago. Um, and the idea is, is that people do. Here's also the thing, if you talk to them, you know, this whole vaccination issue is really, it's somewhat of a red herring because in their research, over 90% of the people that want to cruise have already been vaccinated at this point. Uh, so that's going to end up taking care of itself. You don't need to discriminate against people and you shouldn't. CDC actually says um, they count the kids. So you can't, I mean, people can't bring their families uh, on these cruises. So what we're doing in court, we think we're going to get a favorable ruling in the district court that will open up the ability uh, for sure for these, um, for these ships to be able to sail. But just make no mistake about this. Had we not done what we did, and I think a lot of those cruise lines will, would admit this, had we not done what we did by suing, you would not be talking about sailing right now. The CDC was not moving. They were not budging. They were non-responsive. Uh, we got to the point where, okay, we said we wanted to do it. I did the event at the port uh, a few months ago. You had all these folks that wanted to get back to work. So we said we want to get them back to work. And we sued, and I think they realized that they're probably not going to win in the district court, but they definitely won't win on appeal in the 11th Circuit, given the situation. So we think we have the, the pathway. If we win this, this, um, this case uh, that's in Tampa now, it's going to be open. They're going to be able to do it, and they'll be able to handle it. Every one of them I've talked to has the ability to operate. It's simply the CDC, what they're doing. And some of it is, is really, really ridiculous. I mean, saying you have to wear a mask when you're sunbathing, I mean, some of this stuff they've actually put out there. Even though you have Fauci in his emails is admitting the masks don't even stop COVID, even though he was, you know, getting all the kids to be masked for all this time um, against the basic stuff. So we, we're going to be sailing uh, hopefully very soon, but there's not been a single elected official in this country uh, who's done more uh, to liberate the cruise lines from a bureaucracy that is totally out of touch and that, quite frankly, is exercising authority that they do not possess uh, under the law.